All right, welcome to course Oracle 10G, 11G, Advanced SQL. My name is John Mullins and I'll be your instructor for this course. In this course, these are some of the items that you will learn. Okay, we're going to be using some of the advanced features of Oracle SQL um, in order to you know, manipulate data and query data in some different ways. So we'll, we'll see some of the different features there, such as set operators, such as subqueries and such, that will give us some more power in running our reports and changing our data there. The set operators um, will allow us to combine multiple statements into single statements and get single result sets. Uh, along those lines, we'll be able to write hierarchical queries to access the data as um, one row is related to another row in that same table. So we'll see how to do that. And then you'll also learn how to use the uh, very powerful Oracle flashback fe uh, query feature, which first became available in Oracle 9i. So we'll see how to do that. We'll see how to do that at both the statement level and at the session level. In addition, um, just being able to create various database objects. That'll be something else that you'll learn in this course, such as tables, indexes, constraints. We'll also see other objects, such as sequences and synonyms as well. Now, by the time you finish this course, some of the things that you'll be able to take away with you and be able to use back in your work environment, so you'll be able to use those set operators like we mentioned uh, earlier, and so we'll see that you'll have union, union all, intersect, and minus, be able to do those things. You'll be able to walk away from this course and use the flashback query feature where appropriate. So one of the things we'll need to learn is, is what kind of benefits does the flashback query feature give me um, and how to use it as well. All right, being able to combine multiple statements into a single statement, um, so we'll be able to write some subqueries there, whether it's a select within a select or whether it's a select within an insert, update, or delete. We'll see how to do those things. And then there'll be quite a few database objects that we'll be able to uh, create as well. So like I mentioned before, tables, indexes, constraints, uh, sequences, synonyms, those will be some of the different objects we look to teach and, and learn how to actually create. Now, depending on what your job role is, um, you'll need special privileges to create those database objects. And we'll talk about that when we get to the particular module that's specific to that in this course. Um, sometimes developers, programmers have certain privileges in a development environment that they don't have in a production environment. And of course, if you're training to be a database administrator, you're going to have these privileges regardless of the environment that you're in. Now, before we take this course, there's some prerequisites we should talk about. Um, prior to this course, you should have already be familiar with SQL or would have already taken the Oracle 10G, 11G introduction to SQL course. Um, so any of those prerequisites are required. You really need to have a basic understanding of SQL, being able to do a select statement, insert, update, or delete, that'll help you successfully complete this advanced course. All right, let's take a look at some of the topics that we're going to be talking about here. All right, so we'll start off, we're going to talk about using set operators. So we'll see how to use a union, a union all, an intersect, a minus. We'll talk about flashback query. You know, it, that basically allows us to look at data as it looked sometime in the past. So we'll see how to do that. Uh, subqueries. This is a select within another SQL statement. It might be a select within a select. It might be a select within an insert, update, or delete, or something of that nature. Where are they allowed to be used, and how will we use those? We'll look at hierarchical retrieval. So we'll be able to see where we have a relationship between one row and one column in the same table with another row and another column in that same table. So we'll see how to, how to do that. Um, some, it depends on the design of your tables and such whether or not, not this will be a beneficial uh, feature for you. Um, we'll talk about using data dictionary views. So where can I get information about the tables I have access to? Where can I get information about the columns? All right, and then we're going to get into creating database objects. So we'll start with creating views themselves, see what actually what a view is, what are the benefits of a view, how to create the view. And then we'll continue on there and talk about sequences which are often used to populate primary key columns, such as an employee ID, 
a customer ID or an order ID. Then we'll talk about synonyms. These are also called aliases. So remember in Oracle, um, database objects such as table names or column names can be up to 30 characters long. Uh, we may want to give a, a table name a synonym, either to make it um, easier to understand, easier to remember. Uh, so, so if we're going to reuse that table name over and over in a query or in a select statement, we can uh, shorten its name if we want to. So we'll see how to do that. We'll also see there's two types of synonyms, both public and private. Then uh, we'll have a pretty big topic here on creating tables. You know, a table is the basic unit of storage in a relational database. So we'll, have t we'll see how to create a table, how to identify the columns in the table, their data types, uh, any other attributes that are related to, the, the, to that table. We'll see how to create those. And then related to that, we'll talk about creating indexes. An index in a database is just like an index in a book. It's going to help you retrieve data. So just like an index in a book will help you turn to a particular page quicker without having to go through every page in the book, indexes in the database uh, work the same way. All right, a couple of other object types we'll be looking at here. We'll be looking at creating constraints, you know, primary keys and foreign keys, for example. Um, the constraints help us maintain the referential integrity of our data. They want to make sure that we're not putting people in invalid departments or we're not removing departments that we still have employees in. The constraints will help us you know, avoid those types of issues or errors that we might encounter along the way. And then finally, we'll talk about something called regular expressions. Regular expressions are similar to some of the row functions we have, like substring and instring, but they give us a lot more power, a lot more options in working with those different data types. So we'll see how to incorporate those in our particular queries as well. Now, throughout the course, um, you may have some interest in performing some exercises or labs throughout here. Refer to your documentation as far as the setup goes to make sure your environment is properly set up for that. And then when you're ready to download some exercises, just click on the paper uh, clip link and that'll get you the exercises you need at that point. Also throughout the course, if you have any questions, refer to the questions or comment boxes that you'll see and just go ahead and type in your question there and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So um, to get started here, remember we're going to be talking about advanced SQL and uh, enjoy the course and let's go ahead and get started.